Hi everyone, welcome to AI Sciences and this is Sehri Shakib with you. And today uh, we are continuing to give you an overview of business intelligence and in respect to it, uh, in, uh, in particular we are going to tell you about the Power BI and uh, how we are going to use it. So in this video I am going to make uh, a report using Power BI and I will add different visuals in that report and I will tell you that why reporting is important in analysis when we are dealing with the data science projects or either you are dealing with any project related to artificial intelligence, business intelligence, computer science, uh, software engineering, in all these you need to represent your data in form of different reports when you are showing it to your stakeholders, when you represent to uh, uh, want to show that uh, how the sales are going or how your company is progressing or how your software company, software house is uh, making money. So this you need to represent with some kind of charts or some kind of trends. So this is how Power BI or business intelligence is going to rule or your business and going to help you in facilitating your reporting. So this is going to be a helpful video for those who want to make good reports with simple, simple steps. So before, without wasting any time, we'll proceed to our Power BI desktop. And before that, don't forget to check our website where we have different courses related to Power BI, related to business intelligence, related to data science, uh, computer science and other domains and moreover if you have not seen our uh, course on uh, business intelligence uh, we have given the link of that course also in the description of the video so you can check and you can uh, get more benefit to extend your career so let's go and uh, uh, go to the desktop of power bi <laughs> So this is that interface that uh, already last time I have shown you. If you have not seen that video, you need to check the playlist of uh, this these videos. And last time I have shown you how I have added data in uh, my, my Power BI desktop. And I have shown you that which particular version I am using. Uh, this these data I have uh, taken from two different data sources and if you remember we made data model also from that particular data sources we made all these data connections that how they are going to work and uh, which kind of uh, multiplicity they have and what is the direction or course for uh, direction of uh, these uh, relationships among different fields so Today, I'm just going in the report interface and this is going to be a really helpful interface. These are the visuals which you are going to add when you are making your reports. Let's start with a very simple one. I'm going to pick up the cart interface. And this cart interface, if I just show you the fields uh, without taking any measure which I have created last time, I'm just going to take the implicit measure of Power BI. So in sales, let's say I'm going to take the total sales sales amount and that total sales amount I can pick up just by choosing uh, my sales amount field from here. So if you have seen here this summation sign is automatically added. This is representing the implicit measure which is being created by Power BI automatically. You can create it by yourself also and last time in the last video you can see the in the playlist that I have created this by explicit measures and I told you that how these explicit measures are are better to use as compared to implicit one uh, all right now that is that amount is being added that my total sales amount it is almost 29.31 million and you can change different attributes related to it in your uh, field tab in uh, in your uh, format of your visuals you can check different kind of um, uh, the formatting techniques that if you want to show your title or uh, not or what can be the size what can be the color by this way you can uh, check like this is representing the size of 45. This is like representing that this is phone is being selected. Similarly, you can change the color as per your choice. So this is how you are going to pick up different kind of uh, uh, options related to your uh, uh, fields. Let's say this is I'm going to pick up. This is for my uh, title. And let's say I'm going to pick up this is for my uh, label. Similarly, you can change your background color also, your text color, background effect as per your choice. So let's say uh, this is not looking so good. Let's change it again. All right. That is better. So this is my sales amount. Uh, 
for my convenience what I'm going to do I'm going to just copy it and I'm going to add another visual with the same field and in this field instead of sales amount I'll just remove my sales amount and I'm going to add budget amount that what is going to be my total budget so this budget amount is being added and see the beauty here whatever visuals I have applied on first card in the second card automatically they are being applied so you can just set up your template for example if you want here four cards so you can set template for the one card that what background color you want what color size or font family you want for your text what title you want from which family for which color you want and then you can just change the fields uh, th this is like how you're going to add different kind of uh, uh, just uh, field immediately let's make some kind of more uh, uh, feature let's say we are going to add table and in table I'm going to add date field from calendar so this is date field is being added and in same way if you're not happy with the colors or with the size you can change as per your choice so I'm just uh, changing the color right now so that it should look more appealing I'm not uh, happy with the background white color so let's say I'm going to change it this is the grid color I have changed vertical uh, grid lines you can change the value color you can change borders you can change this is the header and all these things so as per your uh, need you can this is basically fun uh, you more you explore and more you practice more you become addicted towards it so this is how it is going to help you to make yourself master in a particular course so this is uh, just by doing more and more practice and practice is so easy for you that uh, this is just like so user-friendly interface that as per your choice you're going to add it all right so from here for the particular value let's remove it to the again blank so this is how I'm going to choose it for my grids all right okay here in my background I'm not happy with the date I want uh, that it should show me without this quarter and day if it is not so visible to you you can change the size also as per your choice you can increase the size uh, let's say I want for 18 all right so let's make it little bit big now come back to the data to visuals so from here if I'm going to remove day day is being removed if I want to remove quarter quarter is being removed moreover if I'm not happy with showing all the years see it is showing me from 2014 then 15 then 16 and onward I'm just interested that it should show me just one year value so what I'm going to do that here in my date field here in my year value I'm going in the filter instead of advanced filtering I'm going in basic filtering and I'm going to choose one year let's say I'm going to choose 2016 and here this is just showing me data for 2016 and let's say that now in this visual we are going to add our sales amount so for sales amount we will see that how, what is our sales for this particular year with respect to months like in January February March so this has shown us uh, the cumulative figure with respect to sales amount for for the year 2016 starting from January till December and this change arrangement also you can change as per your choice so this is up to your choice same way we can show it for different fields here when, where we have applied the basic filtering there you can choose the basic uh, countries also from where these territories are ha going to have the basic uh, uh, sales so let's have another table here and uh, here in the table let's have our sales amount from the sales field and let's have territories from the territories table so I'm going to extend it uh, let's show it group wise so this is uh, showing us that how with respect to different countries what were our total sales 
similarly you can change arrangement as per your choice your color as per your choice whatever color you want accordingly you can pick it up okay I'll make one chart now and uh, this is going to be my pie chart and in pie chart I'm going to show me uh, my sales amount this is my sales amount and uh, with respect to sales amount I'm going to show uh, my tax amount so this is showing me my sales amount respect to tax amount that how many sales were there and how many tax I have uh, calculated you can add more fields also as per your choice so are you seeing the easiness that to whatever you want to show uh, before it for example what we were having we were creating presentations so this is as per your presentation this is what you want to show you to, to your customer to your um, uh, stakeholder to your manager accordingly that particular thing you are putting in the report you are just making it with respect to good visuals and that's it this is how you are going to make a good analysis of your sales your purchasing for which country you are having the sales for which um, amount you have paid more you can select two fields from here for example for uh, uh, let's say from uh, the sales amount if I'm going to show you sales amount this is showing me that uh, for which sales amount I was going to have it let's go here for the uh, date field here uh, here in the month you can pick up the uh, basic filtering for a particular month or if you are interested in the top quantity here if uh, uh, let's take another uh, table and here I'm going to take order quantity and in with respect to order quantity let's take I'm to, going to say that uh, how much sales I have produced so again going in my sales amount and here for my order quantity I can choose the filtering that which order quantity was uh, having according to which kind of sales like uh, it is less than some amount or is it equal to less than am amount or for sales amount also you can apply a different kind of filtering as per your need you can set up some kind of value that um, maybe your sales were more than uh, uh, 20 million or maybe your sales were more than uh, 10 million accordingly you can pick it up and uh, this is your choice if you want to show it for one particular year if you want to show it for multiple years accordingly you can add as per your different fields uh, this is applying you so easiness that uh, you are just picking up and you are dragging the data as per your uh, requirement uh, let's take another t uh, another date table so this is showing me the year values of uh, 14 15 accordingly and you can check it accordingly which one you need which one you don't need accordingly you can add or you can extend see I can extend 2014 as per quarter I can extend quarter one similarly I can extend January further so this is the beauty which Power BI is applying us in terms of analysis that in detail and how you are going to slice up your analysis with respect to different fields so this is just a trailer which I am giving you you can check you can uh, watch the full movie of it uh, in the course which I have designed for you especially for the beginners uh, and in that course the link of that course you will definitely find in the description of this video and we have discussed all these features in detail in that particular course so don't miss the opportunity uh, just go over the link and uh, check the requirement check uh, the descriptions and proceed this is all for this video keep learning with us and stay tuned we'll come up again with an amazing video next time